Happy Easter from our cattle grazing some to wheat triticale blend. Blair, do you like checking cattle? Yes. Hey, what holiday is it today? Easter. Easter, yeah. What What was your favorite thing we did today? Kai Easter egg, Kai Easter egg, Easter egg hunt. Easter egg hunt, that's good. Meet the Peterson family. Our dad, the three Peterson brothers, and our families farm together in central Kansas. Our family farm started in 1882 and has been raising cattle and crops ever since. Please subscribe to this channel and give us a like and a comment if you enjoy the video. Grandpa's pickup. You love Grandpa's pickup? Yeah. We're going on a trip today. We'll see what we pick up and who we get to see. So I bought something last week and we are going to pick it up today. This was our best day of the week. And it worked out where we could see my grandpa on the trip because it's right on the way. So decided to bring the family. We're getting hooked up to it here. I'm excited to have a slam latch in the back instead of our slide down version. And it's got a real nice floor. It's like a cord rubber. Up there? You gonna pretend to be cows? Yeah. Shut it! Shut you in there. trailers they got trailers everywhere so now we got the trailer picked up and uh, we're back in the car seats and everything and we're off to see my grandpa who i'm pretty sure bought trailers from this place for a lot of his life so it's kind of a cool connection i would say there's more trailers per capita trailers per person in this town than anywhere else in kansas <laughs> so a lot of the, the, the trailers are manufactured here too doing burn downs there's my tinder Am I? Greg's bringing it. I was going through the nozzles real quick, just make sure they're cleaned out. Hopefully everyone lets him turn off the highway safe. All right, while Nathan is spraying, uh, he went and sprayed on this, this little triangle here to get this sprayed. So I'm gonna move the pivot to where he's already sprayed. So we're gonna flip this on, then we're gonna put it to reverse and hit start. Slowly but surely, we'll get the pivot moved over along the road. This is a really good field to have Greg's help on because I don't have a farmstead I can load in. Also, he can uh, move the pivot for me. So multiple times I would have to stop that I don't because is uh, here helping out and then he'll get it moved to his place and then I can I can load in the yard and be doing the fields right close by there all right while well, Nathan's been spraying I've been picking up trash this used to be an old uh, used to be an old railroad track so there's some, some really old trash here and then it's right along the highway, so there's some new trash. Uh, we got a we got an old pan. We've got a shoe. Uh, we've got, I think, a hubcap maybe. License plate. Shovel. This is cool. This is an old Dr. Pepper can, I think. Super old. Before I was born. And uh old chain a lot of these old uh diet sprite bottles it's kind of like the dr pepper can hey greg how long you been missing this stuff Ugh. gross 
Whoops. Stopped and got some pizza and ice cream at um, in Leonardville. A mountain? Getting some wiggles out before we get back in the pickup. Okay, we made it home. Uh, all the way there and back. Uh, reminded me actually. <laughs> he was a good dog. He stayed home. Yeah, Crosby's good. Um, remind me of a trip we took actually back when Kaylin was pregnant with Blair. We drove all the way to Washington, Kansas during COVID. And She's we, over there. Oh, with Blair over here. <laughs> um, we drove all the way to Washington, Kansas during COVID to buy some cows I bought on a, on a video auction. And that's kind of what that reminded me of. Except this time we had two kids with us and we're getting a trailer instead of cows. Look, there he goes. Okay, we are prep checking the fall cows today. We want to get the pen that they've been in open to put feeder cattle in. We are done prep checking. There was two, we're gonna get rid of. One was shortbread, but it raised a small calf last year and I just, I didn't want to deal with it again. Uh, the other one was open. My dad's gonna go hook onto the stock trailer. I'm gonna go and get the fence hot. Uh, we decided between my dad and I, we'll just we'll just turn them out today. Split them into two pastures and turn them out. Well, my dad's going to use the trailer on day two, so we're putting it to use already. Hey, somebody, a cool dude. Are you a cool dude? Steel's pretty styling, isn't he? So I had to fix uh, one broken wire there. This is an empty pond where the wire goes across. It's about to figure out what's up from there. Second load. Dad already held first load, so I'm going to help him load up the second load here. Wow, that's a nice trailer. Come on, cows. I can't see them there. Come on, cows. Yep, yep. Off she goes again. Second trip. Okay, I helped Dad get the third load in there. He's going to take that off to uh, the Miller 2 pasture. I am trying to get my chores uh, done here. Uh, it's church night. I was gone in Minnesota yesterday, and then I just got back this morning, so I feel kind of behind. But I feel really, really good to get those cows pretty checked and off the grass. Really been pushing to get all the grass ready this week. Well, really, to get the fences ready, I can't do anything to get the grass ready. I can't make it rain or make, make the ponds fill up, so. All right, today we are doing a controlled or a prescribed burn on one of our grass pastures. Um, this is a pretty natural process. Even before humans were here, uh, the Kansas prairie would burn naturally from lightning strikes and wildfires. Okay, I'm out here watering down some posts that are out in the middle. They were for rotational grazing, so I just, Turn that on, water them down so they don't burn up with the grass. Ready to set a fire? It's a fire. Look, they're doing it. I know, I, sh I showed that. All right, so the goal is to kind of have a wet line here to the east, then you light your fire, and then you make sure your, your wet line puts out the fire, and if it doesn't, you help it, help it out. So you put out this east side of the fire, and then let the fire go west. That's how we'll start here in the corner. Gave us a little plume. All right, I'm refilling up with with water. It's a fire NATO! <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. That is cool. So 
So first thing we do is lay a wet line right along the fence. That keeps the fire from wanting to go that way and burning the neighbors. And then we'll back burn 30 feet or so that way so that uh, there's a nice barrier between where the wet line fire ends and where the rest of the grass will be. So the south and the east are all done. We're deciding to light up the west side here and the wind's gonna help us this time. It'll be more of a head fire, pushing it toward the other slower moving fires. All right, now comes the, now comes the fun part. Nathan and I are gonna, we've done three sides. We've done a U shape. Now we're gonna work the fourth side. The wind's coming from this way. And so it'll just sweep across there. Should burn pretty fast and uh, should be fun. Bye, uh. Bye, uh. This is how we feel about cedar trees. <laughs> Duh! Oh, <laughs> okay, the west side is lit. So it's burning together there. This, this part is really showing the smoke that's coming. It's working its way across. We're lighting the head fire currently over on that northeast end. And then I'll meet it. Burning the grass kills the old grass and allows the new grass to grow. It also recycles nutrients and puts those back in the soil. It kills parasites and invasive species, keeps them from taking over the pasture. And in a few weeks, all this black ash will be full of fresh green grass for our cattle to graze. Okay, so from here you can see the fire working its way this way. And on top of this hill you can see cedar trees. These are the ones we're really wanting to get rid of. There's quite a few of them. And we just want to toast them real good so they don't grow back. Burn! Beautiful. <laughs> Nathan's trying to relight it. Pretty much done. Just got this little bit in the middle that didn't burn, so maybe it's trying to get it going again, but we've got all four sides of that surrounded by already burnt, so we're good to go. Why do you burn your pastures? It kills all the old grass and allows the new grass to come up um, better and healthier and uh, kills all the weeds off. Um, it's about the healthiest thing you can do for your, your fields, and if you don't do it, uh, you put yourself at risk for unwanted things growing in your grass. And that's not how it used to be. 
back in the days before humans burned. There's Nathan. We did it. We did it. I thought my face would look smokier. It feels really smoky. Yeah. Give me thumbs up. Give me thumbs up. You can see we've already got a different fire to our south and a different fire to our east. So we got two other people in the area burning their pastures. Everybody does it. All right, everybody, these are our butcher steers right here. These are the ones we're finishing out for you guys. Peterson Farm Bros Beef. I went home. Uh, and ate supper and I gave my kids a bath actually I took a shower first then I gave my kids a bath and uh, put them to bed and now I'm back out here I'm going to go and look for strays uh, make sure any of the wood piles that have a little bit of a smolder left to them um, are all the way out and um, there's still a little bit of daylight left there's actually a big fire still going on over there kind of to the south Kaylin said she saw a lot of people burning today. It wasn't just us out here. It was a great day for it, early April. Somebody's having a good time. Look. So here's the example. There's one tree limb I knew I need to come back and spray down. And it all got burnt up pretty good. So I'm gonna spray it off now. Really peaceful now after all the hectic of the day. They're being fire a few feet from my body all day. Can stand up on the hill. There's a good glow over there. They're closed. They're open. They're closed. They're open. It's my Pink face. Ice cream face. <laughs> kind of drippy, kind of sticky. Slurp, slurp, tastes like. Mm. Be, be the python on the body. A, 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 and leave him. F, F, A, F, A, Do your sad face. Show me your sad face. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. Check out our music videos linked in the description. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, and explore our website www.petersonfarmbrothers.com. See you guys next time.